Okay, well this is the MG1, it's going to be my motor generator. Um, just finished the motor section of it yesterday, which is this half of it, there's going to be a generator on the other side. And it did have a 5 transistor circuit, so it would be operating each one of these stator pairs as geez, coils on each side of the rotor. Um, but for some reason it doesn't like working with multiple transistors, so I've got it running off just the one transistor down there. Now the circuit's a bit of a mess, I haven't tidied it up yet, but um, just thought I'd post a video, show you how it's doing. Uh, got my oscilloscope hooked up, I've got an analog amp meter down there because I wasn't really trusting my uh, my digital one, although it is actually giving me the same readings. The battery's all connected. I'm going to have to fiddle with the pot a bit to get up to the top speed, which is why I've got the scope here so I can uh, keep an eye on it, try and get it to single pulses. Right, well, let's set it off. Should pretty much be up to top speed now. Got my stack meter here, so let's see. Go six thousand and seventy three RPM if it stays still. There we go. And it's drawing six hundred and fifty milliamps and single pulsing. So yeah, going pretty well. There's a bit of vibration. I haven't actually got um, the flywheel attached to this since it's just going to shake itself a bit at that speed. So here's the scope shot. Uh, you can probably make out the um, spike there. And of course, that's your input pulse. And this is the back EMF. And this is the um, the interesting bit because you can see the back EMF actually the voltage at one point exceeds uh, the input voltage and the charging voltage. So at the minute it's already working as a bit of a motor generator because the, um, the force of the magnets flying past the, um, the stators is actually generating enough electricity to go into the charging batteries itself and that shouldn't really be possible because it means at around here um, current uh, would actually stop because the uh, back EMF is generating more voltage than the, um, the primary batteries are putting in. So, uh, <clears throat> that's a bit odd, I don't know how it's doing that, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I think if I put a diode across the collector emitter, then it could actually reverse the, the current and send some back to the primary battery, but it's not going to be anywhere near as much as what I'm actually inputting, so I'm not going to bother with that, unless we know what happens if we try charging batteries while they're discharging. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, pretty proud of my bearings, they're actually cheap like one pound bearings, uh, I want to get some some really good ones, um, the Bone Swiss are pretty good and Bone's Red, but uh, it three wheels pretty well, so I'll disconnect the power and we'll just watch it go down. Yeah, so remember it started off at 6,000 RPM, now this is actually going to take a while. <laughs> I might want to go get a coffee or something. Still freewheeling. Still freewheeling at about 2,000 RPM. Getting there. One thousand RPM. It's 
still going. Any time now. Yeah. I did actually time that, you can probably see on the YouTube video how long that took to come to a stop. Um, another interesting thing, uh, you saw how much it was drawing um, using just one transistor. Now that's actually three times the amount of current I'd normally use per transistor, but this um, is completely cold. There's absolutely no, uh, it's not even lukewarm. So um, the only way I think that can be happening would be if I've got extremely fast switching. So the um, the transient between the on-off state is so slim that practically yet no energy is being burned by the transistor. So that's pretty good. Uh, tried measuring the torque, but um, you know it's quite fiddly trying to get it up to top speed. So uh, tried doing a brake test, but it just it was too hard to too hard to um, try and get to top speed with a load on it, um, a variable load. So I think I'm going to just uh, wait until I've got the generator section hooked up and then we can actually see how much um, energy is coming out of the back end. So there you go. That's it so far, the MG1. I'll keep you updated.